bad news. Military coup to take over as 104 Nigerians now in extreme poverty, hardship, and will continue unless this happens. World Bank won. Let me tell you, my people, these are the things that end up leading to um, military takeover. We are lamenting, we are crying, we don't want military to take over, we don't want military to take over, but we are the one doing what we make the military to take over. We are the one. Look at it now. 104 million Nigerians. <laughs> Go check the content. This is today's news. In a recent Nigerian development update, NDU, report released in Abuja today, the World Bank shed light on the economic landscape following President Bola Tunubu's perform and reforms. The report disclosed a concerning statistics. Over 104 million Nigerians are currently residing below the poverty line as a consequence of the removal of petrol subsidy and the unification of foreign exchange rates. The World Bank acknowledged the federal government's bold reforms while emphasizing their crucial role in steering Nigeria away from a potential fiscal crisis. However, it did not shy away from recognizing the challenges these reforms have posed, particularly in terms of heightening living costs that have led to an increased number of citizens falling into poverty. Despite the current difficulties, the World Bank views these challenges as temporary hurdles in the trajectory towards full recovery. It commended its impl implementation of various policies by both fiscal and monetary authorities, expressing confidence in their eventual positive impact on the nation's economic outlook. They are telling Tunubu now is looking as if um, they are speaking French. See, when it happens, look, nobody will come out and speak on his behalf. Because this is exactly what happened in Niger Republic that the military uh, have to unseat him and take over. I'm telling you, look at 104 million Nigerians eh, in abject poverty. I was listening to the news yesterday and believe you me, a lady in the northern region said that 50,000 naira cannot be enough for she and the three kids for one week. Abba, my people, not two. Now me they tell you now. How much is a serpent of rice now? Look at more, there'll be three children and they'll be adults with her. How many is a paint of rice? If she buy, let's say, two paint of rice, how many days that two paint of rice will last? At least, no bully guys will chop, they will still chop eba, they will still chop uh, yam, they will still chop beans. She will still buy some of those things. How much will still remain for this woman to buy things like pepper, oil, maggi, and all of that? More just say that 50,000 naira for one week. Nigerians, things don't change. Everything don't skyrocket for, for market now. As things, in fact, a lot of business owners have shut down because they cannot be able to buy or purchase the things that they are selling anymore. Things are expensive now. Things are expensive now, I'm telling you. Just because of this hard economy. And when we are trying to talk to some persons because they are uh, getting favor from Tunubu, they will start saying what is not. Okay. Well, I know they. Not all of us, they enter inside the matter. And I won't lie to you. I don't pity any of these people. Because why? Because they are the ones that stood in support of Tunubu and, 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 and fought it and said, yes, that they wanted him. And now he's giving it to them. So, who could enjoy it? Only God will help us. Most shall they see what you go chop. Now, you know. You understand? And that's just it. So, let's clear you. 
Let's know what you think, what's your opinion, your advice, and what you think that can work out for good. Don't forget your comments. Don't forget to, to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.